Living Environment fans, it's Friday, Friday. Got to get down on Friday, and it's a half day of class. So uh, some of you I'm only going to see for like 15 minutes. The others I'll see for about half an hour or so. But that's all right. We got plenty to do, including the bell ringer, Ed Puzzle. And um, if you have if I double period, I'm going to give you time to work on the lab because uh, we need to get that lab done, microscope and cells lab. All right, so let's do today's bell ringer. Enjoy Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Partying, partying, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Mr. Kovacs class. It's Mr. Kovacs class. You might learn on time. It's Mr. Kovacs class. He's interested too. It's Mr. Kovacs class. And he's super cool. It's Mr. Kovacs class. My good friends, Connie and Otto. There's Connie, consumer cell and heterotroph, and her betrothed there, Otto an autotroph, a producer cell. Connie the consumer, Otto the producer. Connie the heterotroph, Otto the autotroph, right? And we can tell they're in love because of the hearts floating around them. And of course, yesterday we learned about their love story and the things they have in common and the things that are different about them. And um, yeah, let's talk a little bit about Connie and Otto. Typical animal cell, and of course, as a typical animal cell, she has, whoa. Almost dropped you. She has a cell membrane, but she doesn't have a cell wall, right? Cell walls are only found in plant-like cells, uh, autotrophs. Um, she has lysosomes, lysosomes, which contain, that's right, digestive enzymes, which plant cells wouldn't have because they don't actually need to eat, right? They make their own sugars through photosynthesis. Connie has to import sugars from outside in order to get energy or get sugars to use her mitochondria to make ATP energy. What else Connie's got? Uh, these long squiggles here, those are called the endoplasmic reticulum. And the little dots that are on them, those are where proteins are made, those are called. That's good, they're ribosomes. And of course, after ribosomes make proteins, they're packaged up in the, yep, that's right, the Golgi apparatus. And then sometimes they're just stored in a, yeah, a vacuole. That's Connie, the consumer. And of course, she fell in love with Otto. You can see he's a big, strong, burly guy because he's got a cell membrane, but he also has this extra thick cell wall on the outside. He can afford to do that because he stays in place most of the time. Like Connie, he's got storage, but look how big that vacuole is. It's like a swimming pool, that thing is so big. And of course, it makes sense. If you're stuck in place, you're going to need more storage because you can't go, like if you fill this vacuole with water, you can't like get up and go over to the drinking fountain and get more water. You need to store what you get. Um, but he has a lot of the same things that Connie has, right? He's got a nucleus. And then inside the nucleus is the little hiring office known as the, very good. And of course, inside the nucleus is all of the chromatin that has all of the, right, the DNA that tell ribosomes. See the ribosomes, got ribosomes all over, yeah. Um, Golgi, he's got mitochondria too. My plants have mitochondria too. Plants do both photosynthesis and respiration. Okay, he doesn't have lysosomes, but he's got what are called peroxisomes. All right, peroxisomes and various things like that. And he's got, of course, chloroplasts. Chloroplasts, you can see in this kind of cutaway, those are the thylakoids or the chloroplasts. And chloroplasts are where photosynthesis happens, right? And happens in autotroph cells. They make their own food. So plant animal cells, are very similar. Oh, look at the cute couple. But they're different. Aren't they such a cute couple, don't you think? After this bell ringer, you got Ed Puzzle. And then for some of you, you're gonna get back, you're gonna work. If you've got a double period, you're gonna get right to work on the lab so we can finish up the lab. If you have a singleton period, that's probably all you'll do is get through the, the bell ringer and Ed Puzzle, and then that'll be it. And it'll be the week weekend, because we have just a half day today. Have a good day, have great, weekend. Remember, there's no school on Monday, MLK Junior Day, and I'll see you next Tuesday. That is all.